Hey everyone, get ready for a cool anime I want to talk about today. That's like a mix of One Punch Man and Harry Potter. So, in this anime, magic is super cool, but being strong with muscles matters too. And guess what? The main character gives off serious Saitama vibes. So, let's begin the video without any unnecessary delays. Speaking of this anime, its world is magical. And in this world, everyone can perform magic. And whoever excels in magic the most, attains a high status in society. Here, people also use magic for their everyday tasks. And all of them have a black mark on their faces. The more magical marks one has on their face, the more powerful of a magical user they are. And those who don't have this black mark on their face are killed. However, from here, we are shown a jungle far away from the city. And in that jungle, there's a boy named Mashal who is swiftly and diligently doing his workout. Even the jungle animals are amazed at seeing him. After finishing his workout, Mashal starts to eat a cream puff, as he really likes cream puffs. And the surprising thing is that in this magical world, our main character is not capable of performing magic, because there is no magical mark on his face. Well, in the same forest, there's a house where an old man named Regro lives. And as it turns out, he is none other than Mash's father. Regro is sitting comfortably in his house, sipping tea. Just then, he hears a knock on the door. Before he could reach the door to open it, Mash breaks the door and enters inside which is why Regro get angry at him. After that, Mash, while apologizing to Regro, says, I will fix it quickly. After saying this, Mash starts repairing the door. But during the process of fixing the door, Mash ends up breaking the door even more. After this, Regro gets even angrier with Mash. Mash then apologizes to Regro again and says, Don't worry, I will fix this too. After this, we see that Mash and Regro are both sitting together, sipping tea. But then Mash asks Regro a question, Why do you always insist on me undergoing physical training, and I cannot undergo magical training like others? Upon hearing this question, Regro is left speechless and unable to answer Mash's question. But Regro speaks to himself in his mind, saying, Mash, you cannot undergo magical training because you are unlike others. And Mash, you will never be able to perform magic in your life. Regro brushes off Mash's question by saying this, I will tell you later. After saying this, Regro starts to leave from there. While leaving, Regro tells Mash that he's going out for important work and Mash need to take care of the house in his absence. But keep in mind that in my absence, you won't venture towards the city at all. After saying this, Regro departs from there. Mash received a pamphlet with the sale of cream puffs written on it. As soon as Mash learns about the cream puff sale, he wears his coat and sets out towards the city. But deep down, Mash was asking for forgiveness from his father because he was breaking their promise. When Mash arrives in the city, he sees that everyone there is using magic. But he thinks that it's nothing special because the things they doing with magic can also be done with their hand. Afterward, Mash arrives at the cream puff shop and gets so excited that he ends up bending the coins he was holding in his hands. When he buys the cream puff, he gives coins to the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper's eyes widen in surprise at the bent coins. Yet, Mash, with an apologetic tone, reassures the shopkeeper, No worries, I can make these coins right again. And just like that, Mash skillfully straightens the coins with his own hands. The shopkeeper watches in astonishment, left wondering how on earth someone can bend coins using their bare hands. After this, Mash takes his cream puff and starts to leave from there. But suddenly a strong wind begins to blow, and it blows the hood of his coat off from the top of his head. A lot of people around come together to see Mash. It's because his face doesn't have the black mark that everyone else in the city has on their faces. After this, we see a police officer named Brad, who is reading in the newspaper that a boy named Ren has received a title of Divine Visionary at the Eastern Magic Academy. And along with this title, he has also won a reward of $1 million, and now he can apply for any high-level magician job. After reading this, Brad feels quite jealous, because he had spent so many years of his life working as a police officer. However, he desires a bigger job according to him, where he can earn good money. After this, we see that Brad has caught a thief, and as he's about to punish the thief, he get a phone call. When he picks up the call, someone on the other end informs him that there's a boy wandering around in the city, and this boy doesn't have any magical mark on his face. Brad becomes quite surprised upon hearing this. Now, he sets out towards the city. While peacefully enjoying his cream puff, Mash was heading out of the city when he accidentally bumped into a police officer. The collision caused the cream from his cream puff to splatter onto the police officer's uniform. Because of this, the officer got angry with Mash. Then he throws Mash's cream puff away and shouts at Mash, asking who will clean his uniform. Mash tears apart the uniform of the police officer and says, Don't worry, I'll return it to you after cleaning. Just then, Brad also arrives at the scene. When Brad sees Mash, he is shocked. This is because there is no magic mark on Mash's face. Before Brad could ask anything from Mash, Regro quickly arrives there and, lifting Mash, swiftly escapes from the place. Quickly, Brad waves his magical wand 
creating a bird, and sets it behind Regro and Maesh. After reaching home, Regro got extremely angry at Mash. But Mash apologizes and promises that he'll never go to the city without his permission again Regro forgives him, and says that as a punishment, you have to redo the morning training. Mash heads back to the jungle for training. Here, Regro spots the magical bird behind the bushes, which Brad had sent after them. However, just before Regro can do anything, a huge explosion occurs at their home. And we see that the one causing the explosion is none other than Brad, who arrives with two police officers to apprehend Mash. While in the jungle, Mash continues his rigorous training. After finishing the training, Mash starts heading home since he needs to have his cream puff. However, as Mash approaches his home, he heard voices from inside. Inside the house, Brad has captured Regro. Brad demands that Regro reveal the identity of the person without a mark on his face, as they need to eliminate him. Those without marks can't perform magic, and in this society, magic is essential, so those who can't do magic are eradicated. Brad also claims that hiding an unmarked person is a crime for which he can even arrest Regro. But Regro refuses to reveal anything about Mash. Brad becomes quite furious and starts attacking Regro. Then we have shown flashback of Regro. From childhood to youth, Regro faced only ridicule, as he was very weak in performing magic. Even his peers disliked him, and his own parents didn't hold him in high regard. Everywhere he went to work, he was met with mockery. This led to Regro spending most of his life apologizing to people. Because all of this Regro thinks about taking his own life. But he suddenly hears a baby crying. He realizes that the baby was abandoned because he had no magical mark thinking that they are both unwanted by society so he decides to raise the baby as his own son. And that child was none other than Mash himself. Back in the present, Regro realizes that Mash is standing just outside the door. Therefore, Regro shouts and instructs Mash to run. Brad also comes to know that Mash is standing outside. Therefore, he assigns both of his officers to go after him. Here, Brad starts beating Regro very severely. Before Brad can finish off Regro, Mash by breaking down the door and punches an officer so hard that he crashes through the wall and falls outside. Second officer goes to him but Mash rips his uniform off slapping him repeatedly until he falls to the ground. Regro says to Mash, I told you to run, so why didn't you run? But Mash replies to Regro, you're my dad, and you are only family I have. Upon hearing this, Regro becomes quite emotional. Mash warned Brad, I won't let you go at all, because you have hurt my father. Brad starts laughing and says, I'm a highly certified magician police officer, and you don't even know how to perform magic. And saying this, Brad begins to use a very dangerous magic against Mash. With the help of this magic, he had defeated a dragon some time ago. When he aimed the magic spell at Mash, it triggered an explosion, shrouding the area in a dense cloud of smoke. But then the smoke clears, and everyone is left astonished by seeing that not even a scratch has touched Mash. He just deflects that spell with just slap. After this, Brad uses even more dangerous magic spells on Mash, but Mash once again easily deflects the spells with just a light slap. Following this, Brad launches a barrage of various spells at Mash, but Mash playfully turns them into soccer balls and volleyballs at times and starts playing with them. Brad is left astonished by witnessing all of this. Mash then grabs Regro's magical stick, making Brad think that Mash can also use magic. So, he creates a protective shield in front of him. However, Mash tosses the stick lightly towards Brad, causing the protective shield to shatter, and as a result, Brad receives a minor injury. Seeing Mash's muscular power, Brad is quite amazed and becomes lost in thought. Regro also gets very surprised when he sees all of this, because he didn't know that Mash had become so strong. Mash warned Brad that if you even dare to look towards my dad again, I will finish you off for good, forever. Brad starts laughing and offers Mash a deal, saying, let's resolve all this peacefully. Every year in our city, the title of Divine Visionary is given to the top student, and I want you to participate in that academy and win that title. So, whatever money and luxury you receive, give it all to me. In return, I will let you and your father go. Regro advises Mash not to agree to such terms. However, Mash desired peace, so he accepts the deal. Seeing this, Regro becomes emotional once again. The next day, we witness that Mash is now headed towards the prestigious Eastern Magic Academy to secure admission. As he departs, he tells himself that he can do anything to live peacefully with his father. And with this, the first episode of Mashal concludes. I hope you like the video. If you found it enjoyable, please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here.